Hi people, welcome to my channel and welcome to yet another video in the Paper 1 series. I know that all of you are really really worried about Paper 1. Why so? I know that you all have studied the Paper 2 topic in your bachelors and in your masters but Paper 1 is very new to you. There are people who are not so good with DI, mathematical reasoning, logical reasoning. There are people who are not so good with reading comprehension, people uh, who have no awareness of people in environment. They are not so much connected with the general knowledge aspect. And all these people are really, really troubled and they have lost all hopes because they think that since they are weak in these areas, they can never qualify paper one. And if they cannot qualify paper one, that means they cannot qualify UGC net. In in this video, I am going to break that myth of yours and I am going to exactly tell you how by keeping these 10 tips in your mind, you can score more than 70% marks in paper 1 even after not being good in the areas I just mentioned. So yes guys, there is a smart way to study for paper 1 and with no preparation, you can still manage to get 70% above marks in paper 1 if you can just devote somewhere around 3 hours for the next 10 days. That's it. When I qualified my net, I was so much into paper 2 that I hardly got 10 days to prepare for paper 1 and just in 10 days, one day per unit, I made my own notes, I read them thoroughly, I practiced previous year paper and I qualified paper 1 with a very very good score and I'm going to give you all that uh, tips, all those tips which I had in my mind when I was preparing, the mistakes I did and I'm going to tell you exactly the pattern by which you can qualify paper 1. So if you're ready, take a pen and paper, write down these important points and start your paper 1 preparation with full confidence. If you've seen my video in which I've discussed the approximate cutoff that is going to be there this time in different subjects in UGC NET, I have mentioned very clearly that for all popular subjects that cutoff somewhere varies around 50 to 60 percent for NET. Now let's take the upper limit that is 60%. So if you want to clear net, your aim should be to get 60% in paper 1 and 60% in paper 2. Now the paper 2 strategy would be different. We are not going to talk about that in this video. But my concern in this video is how you can get 60% in paper 1 with least efforts. There's a very, very smart strategy. Now we all know that there are 10 units in paper one and from each unit, five questions are asked, okay? Now there are two ways you can score 60%. Let's first calculate how uh, many questions you need to answer correctly if you want to get 60% score in paper one. Total number of questions in paper one are 50. Now out of 50 questions, if you score 30 questions correctly, you can easily score beyond 60%. Okay, now since we know five questions per unit is asked, you have two ways to achieve the 60% score. The first method is by working on your strength areas. Everyone is good in some of the units of paper one. Like I am good with teaching aptitude, communication, reading comprehension and uh, research methodology. Maybe you are very good with practical uh, knowledge, then you must be very good with mathematical reasoning, logical reasoning, data interpretation. So everyone is good in five or six units out of 10. Nobody is bad in all the 10 units because these are very general things. Okay, you have studied it during your school days, during your college days also. and chances are that you can uh, answer them based on your common sense fine so make a list of the strong areas now out of these 10 units if six units are strong then make sure that you uh, attempt all questions of these six units and attempt them correctly make sure you get five on five for all the six units that makes a very good score of 30 and in the units which you are not so good at or you are weak at you can just try to do the guesswork and then that can help you score additional three or four questions correctly this is the first method. Second method is to look at the previous year paper and figure out commonly asked questions. So we all know that from previous year, the concept repeats. Okay, concepts are the same, questions are different. So if you can master some concepts of each of these units, you can easily answer three questions correctly. Out of five questions from every unit, they make sure that 
टू टू थ्री क्वेश्चन आर ईजी वन और टू क्वेश्चन आर डिफिकल्ट सो इवन इफ यू नॉट सो गुड विथ एनी ऑफ दीज यूनिट एंड यू कैन जस्ट मास्टर द एवरेज डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन इन दीज फ्यू डेज यू कैन एक्चुअली गेट थ्री क्वेश्चन करेक्टेड आउट ऑफ फाइव दैट मीन्स दैट इफ यू टोटल थ्री इंटू टेन इज थर्टी थर्टी क्वेश्चन करेक्टली इन पेपर वन सो यू सी इफ यू यूज एनी ऑफ दीज टू स्ट्रैटेजीज यू कैन ईजीली गेट थर्टी क्वेश्चन राइट यू डोंट नीड टू गेट ऑल द क्वेश्चन राइट दैट इज नॉट गोइंग टू हेल्प यू एनी वे If you can focus on getting sixty percent questions right, and you can devote uh, your energy in paper two preparation, together you can actually qualify it. Another important tip that I would like to give you here is that please attempt all questions. Okay, you need to make sure that. you attempt question whether you know the answer or you don't know the answer because there is no negative marking why do you have to miss on marks that you can get on a good guess work so make sure you attempt all questions another important thing please keep in mind when you're giving your online paper 1 that please save your answer i have seen a lot of students who made mistake in the previous net exam they answered the question but they did not save it they just clicked on mark for review and when finally they clicked on save at the end of their exam they saw that their answers were not mentioned why because the computer did not find the correct answer marked it was just marked for review mark for review karke mat chhodiyega mark karke use save and mark kariye jisse computer ki memory mein wo answer save ho jaye another important thing that you should remember while giving paper 1 that whenever you find a lengthy question on screen skip that question for once first solve all the simple questions hamesha lengthy question ko last ke liye rakhiye samajhiye har question equal marks ka hai don't get attached to a question aap agar 1 minute mein 3 question kar sakte hain to kyu aap 1 minute mein ek question hi karte hain koshish kariye maximum questions kar paaye minimum time mein start kariye paper is speed mein ki sabse pehle first 30 minutes mein aap wo sare questions kar le jo aapko aate hain bahut easily and also make sure ki aap 10 10 10 minutes day for these three section di that is data interpretation mathematical reasoning and logical reasoning agar aap inke 5 5 questions kar rahe hain don't give more than 10 minutes per section फाइव क्वेश्चन आप आराम से दस मिनट में कर सकते हैं इससे ज्यादा टाइम लग रहा है स्किप कर दीजिए डोंट डिवोट योर टाइम इन टू सॉल्विंग अ क्वेश्चन एंड देन लूजिंग टाइम ऑन सॉल्व ऑन नॉट गेटिंग टाइम टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन जो आपका आते थे जो नहीं आते उन्हें बाद में करिए एटलीस्ट पहले वो करिए जो आते थे देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु मेक दिस मिस्टेक पहले वो क्वेश्चन करते हैं जो नहीं आते इसकी वजह से एक तो कॉन्फिडेंस गिर जाता है एक क्लास में टाइम नहीं बचता और जो क्वेश्चन आते हैं उसे भी गलत सॉल्व कर देते हैं जस्ट बिकॉज टाइम नहीं है सो डोंट मेक दैट मिस्टेक सबसे पहले क्वेश्चन पेपर जब आप सॉल्व कर रहे हैं तो इजी इजी क्वेश्चंस कर दीजिए जो नहीं आते उनको बाद के लिए रखिए और 10 मिनट से ज्यादा इन तीन सेक्शंस में मत दीजिए लास्ट मोमेंट में अगर पेपर वन की प्रिपरेशन करना चाहते हैं तो प्लीज ट्रेडिशनल मेथड मत अप्लाई करिए बुक्स पढ़ के अगर आप सोचेंगे कि मैं टू पेजेस की बुक्स पढ़ के उसे याद रख पाऊं दैट वुड नॉट बी पॉसिबल सो हमें करना है एक स्ट्राट स्मार्ट स्ट्रैटेजी यूज और वो स्मार्ट स्ट्रैटेजी क्या है हैंडी रेफरेंस नोट्स बनाइए ये मेरे वो नोट्स हैं जो मैंने अपने पेपर वन की तैयारी के टाइम पे बनाए थे एंड इन लेस देन टेन डेज प्रिपरेशन आई क्वालिफाइड पेपर वन एज वेल एज टू एंड आई गॉट माई नेट सर्टिफिकेट सो देखते हैं कैसे बनाए थे मैंने ये नोट्स इफ़ यू लुक एट दीज नोट्स यू विल फाइंड कि मैंने एक टॉपिक को दो पन्ने से ज़्यादा नहीं दिया है अगर मैं एक टॉपिक अल्फाबेट सीरीज को देख रही हूँ सो आई हैव लिस्टेड ऑल द पॉसिबल मिस्टेक्स दैट आई एम मेकिंग एंड आई हैव ऑल्सो लिस्टेड अ स्टेप बाई स्टेप मेथड टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन ये गलतियाँ बहुत स्टूडेंट्स करते हैं वो पेपर सॉल्व करते हैं प्रिपरेशन के टाइम पे और उनकी गलतियों को इवेलुएट नहीं करते आप जब तक अपनी गलतियों को इवेलुएट नहीं करेंगे आप वही सेम गलतियां एग्जाम में दोहराएंगे सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट आप जो भी गलतियां कर रहे हैं उसका एक नोट बनाइए मेक श्योर यू राइट डाउन कि आपने क्या सिली मिस्टेक किया है इफ यू लुक एट माई पेपर वन कॉपी यू विल फाइंड आउट कि मैंने साइड में पॉइंटर्स लिखे हैं जहां मैं गलतियां कर रही हूं और जहां तक थ्योरेटिकल सब्जेक्ट के नोट्स हैं आई हैव मेड हैंडी नोट्स 
एक पेज में मैंने वो सारे पॉइंट्स लिख लिए जो उस टॉपिक के लिए रेलिवेंट है आई हैव नॉट रिटन पैराग्राफ्स आई हैव जस्ट वर्कड विथ पॉइंटर्स एंड ये सारे नोट्स मैंने प्रिपेयर करे हैं बाय लुकिंग एट द प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर्स एंड द क्वेश्चन विच हैव बीन आस्ड आई हैव ऑलवेज टोल्ड माई स्टूडेंट्स दैट क्वेश्चन डोंट रिपीट फ्रॉम प्रीवियस ईयर बट कॉन्सेप्ट डू रिपीट फ्रॉम प्रीवियस ईयर इफ यू कैन कैच दैट कॉन्सेप्ट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट कॉन्सेप्ट in this exam if a question is asked from the same concept you can easily do it so make sure you make a smart strategy in order to prepare for paper 1 also we are helping you with a video series in which i'm giving you all the possible tips and tricks which can help you qualify net this time if you have any other questions in mind feel free to put that in the comment section below also i would like to know from which part of the country you are so that we can develop a specific plan to target your need to so put your city also in the comment section below also i would like to tell you one very very important thing that we are running a very very important paper one series if you have not watched videos which we have posted till now make sure you do it also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any new update that we are going to give you in the next few days subscribe to all the other social media platforms as well to receive all these possible updates that's it for this video lecture we'll meet very soon in the next video lecture till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to atpatakarwa.com